I'm Catherine, and today we're going to talk about the Therabox. This is, the, you can't see it, but it's Therabox for March 2019. God, I, you know, I love this whole red, white, and blue, like, airmail package. This is just, a lot of Japanese stationery has taken that trend, and really, like, just taken it, and then they run. And they're like, yes, we're going to use this. This is going to be a theme in our stationery now. By the way, if you guys know of any really good Japanese stationery boxes, I know that's a type of sub subscription. Eh. I know that's a type of subscription box, and I'm totally interested. So please tell me, okay? Ooh. So this box, this is a very relaxing looking box. This just looks like it's not going to cause any issues. There are flowers. There's a dove with a little heart. <laughs> He's like blowing out a heart. That's so cute. <laughs> wow, okay, to give you background on this box. First, it's supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to help um, people who like want to relax or want to chill out. And it's curated by a bunch of therapists. So hopefully they know what they're talking about, right? So all these things. All right, let's like open the box together. Right. Woo! Oh, look at that. Snap a photo. Tag us on Instagram. Okay, you can win a box if you're into social media, which is cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Third box. Okay. Look at this. Bloom. Huh. This is the March Bloom box. That's very pretty. That's just cute. Oh, and and it's, a, it's an issue. Oh, it's March 26, 2019. It's the issue. You see how it's like a magazine? You can see it on there. I didn't realize that they have magazines here. All right, let's see what it says inside. It has the editor's note. It has the list of all these things and what they're supposed to do for you. From what I understand, there's supposed to be over $100 in this box. So, I don't know. It's supposed to be worth it. Even if you don't like something. Okay. Wow. Someone with a PhD. This is um, the Therabox bundle. I think it's the meditation, evidence-based guided imagery, meditation, and relaxation audios of the highest quality, all by foremost teachers and practitioners in the mind-body field. And the person has a PhD after their name, Tracy Stein. She sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Also, there's this other person, they have ACSW. I'm not sure what that means, but it definitely sounds like a lot of letters, right? So hopefully they know what they're talking about. Ooh, look at that. So when you open it, it's got this, I wish you every happiness. That's so cute. I wish you every happiness. Look at that. That was thoughtful. Very thoughtful, guys. A Therabox. Very thoughtful. I'm going to tear this paper. I can't. I can't. <sighs> Great. So when you open this gorgeous box, nothing is quite visible yet. Don't worry. We'll open it more. Okay. It looks like this is this. Ooh, dilution minerals, jelly spa bath. Ooh, these are like bath things. Very cute. It's aromatherapy. Lavender. Lavender's supposed to chill you out. Uh, one pack for five gallons of water. So it's like specifically for baths that have five gallons. If it's four gallons, I don't know. Maybe a little too strong. So maybe it's heat therapy, aromatherapy. Good idea. That's cool. Okay. I don't know. See, the thing about my bathroom is it's kind of gross. So I don't feel comfortable taking baths because it's also a very transient apartment where there are tons of people who live here and stuff. Like over the past year and a half, I've had nine roommates because they keep coming and going. A lot of them are international as well. So they come because their visa gives, you know, they, maybe they have a job or they have some sort of like school thing. So they come and they're like, oh my God, I have to go back and get my visa redone. And then someone takes over the lease and then they're going to like go back home because they want to see their mother. And then they... All that fun stuff. So this apartment's very cheap, but it doesn't have an amazing bathroom. So I'm gonna have to either borrow someone's bathtub or like move to a new apartment and make sure the bathtub's really nice, you know? 
<laughs> I'll show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys, okay? continue um oh we got these little this is a mud mask Ooh, a cell remineralizing remineralizing wow wow it's called volcanic clay i okay i usually don't use masks i don't use i don't do much for skincare i got a specific box previously it's in one of my videos somewhere in my channel where it was a mask and I tried it and I didn't see a huge difference except for that my skin felt very soft right after and it's now it just feels like normal it just feels like normal skin it's not like it's magically super soft now but I guess if it has volcanic clay that's what it was missing you know maybe that this this is gonna be the magic I don't know this is gonna be the magic mask for my cells right so we'll see we'll, we'll just try that we have this ooh. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it looks like frosting and candy. Unicorn whipped body butter. Oh, scented with pink sugar, raspberry, blackberry, bubble gum, and cotton candy. Break this oil. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Peel this one. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. Oh my God, it smells like bubble gum. Oh, oh, I love bubble gum. Oh my God. Hang on, hang on. Body, I usually don't buy body butters. I think it's, it's a lot of, um, you know when you go to like Bath and Body Works or different uh, body shop, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. A lot of them smell like chemicals. This just smells like candy. It doesn't, I think it's because, um, I'm sensitive to, or at least, you know, my sense of smell is sensitive to stuff that's like weird. I don't know. It looks like organic shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, organic fragrance. I wonder if I just am so sensitive in terms of the way things smell that you just have to use essential oils or like organic stuff. This smells, look at this. Look at this. It looks like, it looks like a ring. I'm okay with this. This is gorgeous. Okay. So kind of, and I put a little bit on my hand. And it does feel very like buttery and smooth and ah. Uh, I don't know. It's nice. Really nice. Okay. Next thing in the box is plastic. No. Nah. I mean, they include, you You get plastic too. If next time you want to like wrap something up, I guess you have it, right? This is Dream Serum. Woo, Dream Serum for scarring and hydration. Oh. Improve acne scars. Is a magic elixir to give you glow of goddess with ultra, ultra hydrated zopal skin. Okay. Wow. Made with love and unicorn tears in Orlando, Florida. Wow, it actually says that. Made with love and unicorn tears. Okay, it's made with love and unicorn tears. And I'm not joking, it says it on there. This is a really exciting box. I think I like this box. A schedule, ooh, it's kind of like. You see that? You see that? They're little pinwheels and they're turning a schedule note. Okay, this is what it actually has inside. It's got little sticky notes. These are really little, blah, blah, blah. Schedule note. It looks like, yeah, stuff that you can maybe put in your planner or wherever you want. Put them on the wall, maybe. I don't know. They're pink, too. Cute, you know, something, something cute for when you're at the office and you're like, I 
I'm a young woman. <laughs> See? <laughs> right there. Yeah. Ooh. Top coat. What is this? What is this? Oh. I'm so glad they have the bloom issue to help me. Let's just open this up. Top coat. Top coat. Where is top coat? Top coat. Top coat. Oh. Wasabi nail polish. Wasabi? Wasabi? Wow. Okay, what's a spa day without some new decor for your nails? Top Coat is a boutique nail polish brand that creates clean, not toxic nail polish for bold women. Oh, interesting. I don't know. It's, it's green. I'm trying to figure out if this would look good on me because it's... I usually like foresty types of greens and this seems a little bit more like a mint. I'd have to figure it out. I don't know if it would work for me or not. We'll see. I guess it's good that there are other things in the box, right? We're not done yet. Ooh, soy-based nail lacquer removal sheets. Oh, you'll dare to go bare with the soy-based remover sheet that strengthens as it strips. This is, hmm, I don't, I don't really paint my nails all that much. The, okay. I painted my nails in December, and it's, what, March? It's the end of March right now. I painted my nails in December, and then before that, I hadn't painted, I hadn't painted, paint, I had not painted my nails in years. I, I know I went, like, all of, like, college, all right? And then now, like, okay, from, all right, what's 2019 right now? So in 2018, end of 2018, I painted my nails. I had not painted my nails and I went to college in 2010, okay? So, eight years. So I don't really know how to use this, but I don't know, maybe I'll give it to someone. I mean, who knows what, I, who knows what I'll do with this? You don't know, you don't know. The only thing we can do is find out, right? Ooh, look at that. It says, farmer's touch right there. Ooh. Farmer's Touch Foot Cream. Oh, cute. Okay, so it's got cocoa butter. Lots of creams. Lots of like luxurious, luxurious creams. Let's see what the foot cream's supposed to be all about. Let's find out. Okay, aren't foot creams for those with dry soles, you may ask? <coughs> well, that is certainly one reason to use a foot cream. Foot creams are actually more than they are cracked up to be. Our feet are routinely deprived of the air and moisture that they need. Oh no. This usually happens when we spend a day in our socks and shoes. Inspired by a farmer's quest to pamper and soothe her tired, clogged feet. After a long farm days, after a long days farm work, farm days work, the farmer's touch on natural foot cream was born. It just like popped right out, you know? She didn't have to do anything. Just one day. Came, right? Each batch is organic. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. They make all of it from false by hand. Um, it will nurture your dry crack heels. Okay. Apply, apply liberally on your feet and massage until absorbed and use as often as you need it. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. I guess we'll have to try that out. I never really thought about my feet like that, but... Uh, I think that's it. I think, like, there's nothing else in here. It's all just, like, woo, fun stuff, right? Alright, let's recap here. What did I have in my box? This fun bath stuff, which I gotta figure out what to do with the whole bath situation. We got foot cream, the remineralizing mud mask, the amazing body butter. This is so much fun. Um, dream serum, which is supposed to be good for your skin. And then the little skin unit is cute. The take it off. Take it off. It's telling me. Um, the nail polish. It seems like it's very female oriented. If I were a man and I ordered this, I would not be happy with this box. This is not a men's box. I mean, I'm a woman, and I don't think I'm gonna use these nail things, really. I, I'm okay with trying skincare. I'm okay with trying, like, 
creams. I'm okay with trying lotion or soap or whatever because, you know, everybody uses soap in the shower or whatever. And, like, I don't know. It's like a small container, so it's not hard to use it. I feel like I don't buy big containers also because I don't want to have it just sitting there because I don't use these things consistently. I probably should, especially stuff that's moisturizing in the winter. And it is still, even though it's March, still cold and stuff. So I still have time to use it basically. So I should be using it, probably. I do more moisturize with my face. I don't use it so much for my hands, even though that's probably what I should be doing. Oh, um, this is a cute box. I feel like I'd be okay with getting it again. I love aromatherapy. I love good smelling things. And this right here, this, this smells good. This smells like bubble gum and I love bubble gum. So I think out of the whole box, this was totally worth it. And also like, I guess they have um, the meditation things. I think I'm actually gonna use this because I like um, meditations. You know, I'm, I'm okay with these, you know what I mean? Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Let me know if there are other boxes that you know of that are similar to this one, because I liked this one. There's some lifestyle boxes where I was like, I don't know about this. This one's nice, you know? The whole point is to chill. And I think, even though I didn't like everything in the box, I think it, it you know, under, it's understandable why. Cause it's like, look, you're taking care of yourself. You like painting your nails and you're putting cream on your face and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's good, right? All right, like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more, comment, blah, blah, blah. All right, bye. <laughs>